I love you, Sue. Thank you. And they say behind every good man, there's a good woman. And uh, I can honestly say that every good thing I have in my life, my wife has been a part of it. She stood by my side through thick and thin. And um, had it not been for her, I don't think we would, I don't think I would have wrote this next song. Um, we started going to this church in our hometown back in 2012. And I'll never forget, they had a prison ministry that my wife signed up to go share her testimony at one Sunday afternoon. And, she said, hey, why don't you go to this uh, prison and share your testimony with me? And I was kind of like, you know, that's a hard pass, you know. I said, I, I've stayed out of prison now for 33 years. I'm probably not going to start going now. And uh, <laughs> she went, she shared her story, and she came home, and she was just on fire after she, what she'd experienced. And she said, you know, the next time, next time that I go do this, you're going to take your guitar, and you're going to go with me. And I was like, okay, yes, ma'am. And uh so I had this song that I just written and we shared our story of just what God was doing in our life and in our marriage and our relationship with our friends and our families. And at the end of it, I played this invitation and I had my eyes closed and I wasn't, wasn't really looking around. And at the end, I looked up and there were 35 women on their hands and knees that had given their lives to the Lord that afternoon. And I just remember being, being so taken back by it that I couldn't even finish the song and I just, I was in tears, you know, I couldn't finish it, I couldn't, I couldn't talk about it for, for a long time and I remember feeling like in that moment God just said, Zach, if you're waiting on a wake up call or some sort of aha moment, then this is it, you know, these are the people and the places and the songs, this is what I want you to do with your ministry, like, okay. About a year later, the church that we were going to asked us to help them launch a campus and I never led worship in my life. I wasn't a worship leader. I didn't go to school. I didn't go to seminary. And I remember the pastor of the church, when I told him, I was like, well, you know, I'm not a worship leader. He was like, yeah, we kind of figured you would say that, but we believe in you and we trust you. We feel like God's put you in our path. And we helped them launch a campus called The Refuge, and we started reaching out to folks that were just like us. And a lot of the early members of that church were celebrating recovery. And I just remember like getting to hear stories every Sunday and, and, and starting to try to pick and choose and write songs that would minister to the people that was in this congregation. And it wasn't long after that, I got invited to Nashville to write some music. And I'd saved up enough time at work to come over here for about a week. And I'd written songs all week long. But being a songwriter had always been a dream of mine. And uh, I remember on this Friday afternoon though, I'd already written all my ideas and I didn't have anything left to say. And, I thought for sure that they were going to figure out that I wasn't very good and send me home. And instead, I sat in a room with two strangers and shared my life with them and told them what God had done. And this girl named Mia that I was writing a song with, she turns to me and she says, Zach, you need to write a song called Chainbreaker. And I was like, I was kind of like, that's pretty cool. How does it go? <laughs> you know, I didn't have any lyrics. And, and Jonathan, the other guy that was writing a song with us, he was playing the piano, and he started playing piano. And as soon as he started playing, I just said, Have you been walking the same road for miles and miles? And then I, then I stopped because that was all I had. I didn't have any more lyrics. And I was kind of like, what just happened? And everybody was like, what just happened? The truth is, I felt like God was in that room that day, and he took the pen and paper, and he wrote this song for us. And it wrote itself in about 15 minutes. And I drove from Nashville to Arkansas with a prayer that God would take this one song all over the world, all over the country. And it's been a little over six years now. I just travel around every night and play, play these songs and have church and share my story. And I can tell you, everybody on this stage has had their life changed by Jesus Christ. We're all living proof of what he's been doing. It's an honor for me every time I get to step on a stage. Um, and share my story and it, and it just it blows me away when I look out and I see more people than, than were in the town that I grew up I just can't fathom that sometimes and so thank you guys so much for being here tonight I just want to say we love you guys and thank you Life Fest for having us will you guys help us sing this one if you've been walking the same road for miles and miles You've been hearing the same old voice to the same old life. You're trying to feel the same old voice inside. 
There's a better life. Oh, there's a better life. Bye.